Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this will be, obviously, what's in front of you, the BAM box. Um, but first of all, sorry, this one's kind of late. Um, the box did not come late. Uh, it came late the last two months in a row, but for June, it did not come late. I'm doing it late because I was on vacation, so the box came while I was away, so not the BAM box's fault. Um, this is a heavier box than usual because there's supposed to be two additional items in it. Uh, one of those items was the uh, patch that was supposed to be in the May box that did not make it, which on my unboxing of that, I had forgotten that they had actually like sent something out saying that that patch is not going to be in the box, and then it would be in the June box. But, I mean, at that point, I kind of honestly would have just rather them just hold up the box a little bit because it was already late, and then, you know, get it in there and send it out. But... But the other additional item that will be in here is the um, makeup item for them being late on the April box. So April was the very first time they were ever late on shipping boxes. They felt really bad. So they said for the June box, because everything was already set for the May box, so they said for the June that they would include just a free additional item as like a sorry. So that's what there should be some random item in here because of that. So uh, June's theme for this one is heroes and villains, unlikely heroes. Um, one, one of the, the things that they tease that they're going to have an item from, I was like, ah, because it's a, it's, a, it's a film I really, really despise. It's, and a lot of people do, honestly. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> so we'll see what item that is tied to. I hope it, I don't know. I don't know how they can make that like an actual good item, whatever it has to do with, but we'll see. Maybe. I mean, I've been proven wrong on stuff before, so. All right, so let's get into this. So we should have all these extra items to go through. Two extra items. It's awesome. All right. As per, oh, okay. I'll just do the, um, the patch. The patch is actually on top of the tissue paper this time, so I'll just go over the patch right now. Okay. Oh. Bent. I'm gonna crease it like that. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, uh, so this is a, the, basically a replica patch from Alien. Uh, it's the US CSS Nostromo. So that was on the uh, the uniforms for the people in Alien. So I mean, it's a good representation. It's it. I mean, it does look like a replica patch. Uh, I don't know if I'm really gonna do anything with that, honestly. Just maybe set it somewhere, kind of display it. I don't know. All right, my cat's favorite part, tissue paper. And even better, it's, it's usually two pieces. There have been times where it's one piece or one time I didn't get any tissue paper. My cat was really bummed, and that sucked. But she should be happy today, because two pieces. All right, first thing on the top, I don't even know what this is. This is weird. I don't even know, I'm just gonna have to pull it out. God, <laughs> I don't want this. Well, I mean, this could be kind of fun in certain instances, but okay. So this was actually the film that I said I didn't care about. It's terrible. It's it's a replica mask from the movie Nacho Libre. Nacho Li Libre is a garbage, garbage movie. Just horrendous. There's nothing good about it. Over the top, terrible, whatever. But if I can get this on my head, you can watch me struggle with it. Now I look like a luchador. Now it's awesome. <laughs> I mean, this is actually not that bad of an item because, well, actually, I feel like I can't even hear myself. You might not be able to hear me in that. I hope you got a kick out of me putting it on. But this is actually, um, I mean, it's kind of cheaply made, but not too terribly cheap. Uh, there can be some uses for this. People to have, just have fun with, you know. Who has a luchador mask? Not many people have luchador masks. So now I can just kind of mess around with people with this luchador mask. So if we were going to get an item from Nacho Libre, that's actually not that bad. I'm, o I'm okay with it, so. Uh, the next item, I don't know. <laughs> The next item to me feels like it's probably like a journal or a sketchbook or something. Not big into those things. We'll find out. Ah, oh, it's Batman though. That's cool. 
I mean, at least I know some people who I could give this to. Yeah, and it's just like a journal. Journal, 192-page journal. Um, it's got Batman symbol on it, obviously, if it's Batman. Let's see if I can get the better lighting on There we go. And you, you can't see it because it's wrapped up, but there's actual, like, texture on it that's kind of like his chest plate suit, like the, the pecs and the abs and everything, which is an interesting detail to put in on that. It's all right. I mean, it's not big on that. It's, it's, it's not for me. The next thing. Oh, I got a one-up. I know they're going to bring these one-up cards back. And guess what? I got a one-up. Awesome. I think they brought them back last month, and I just didn't get one. So I got a one-up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. That's exciting. See, and that's what's awesome about bringing the one-up cards back. It makes you even more excited. It makes you way more excited. Do I have... Okay, here's another patch. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. There's going to be something from the Goonies, and here's a sloth patch. I'm getting anything from the Goonies. I'm glad it's sloth. Um, it's not the best. Like, his face looks more messed up than it actually is in the movie, but not too terribly bad. But that's cool, just to have, like, a Goonies patch. All right. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't feel the pin at first. I was like, where's the freaking pin? Because that's the thing I look forward to probably the most with this. And actually, since I have this one-up card, it might mean that I got, like, the exclusive pin. But we'll find out. The pin, oh, yeah. I'm going to bet this is what's exclusive. Uh, it's Shaun of the Dead pin, and it's blood splattered. So I'm going to guess that's what the what the special edition variant is, limited edition. And if I was going to get something, I'm glad I got that. So it's Simon Pegg's character from... Well, let me take it out of here so just so you can see it better, because it looks good, and the blood splatter on it I want you to be able to see, so... Here you go. Check that out. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice. He's got the bloody croquet mallet, or I'm sorry, cricket mallet. Very different. Yeah, and there's the blood splatter all up, all over it. I'm going to pretty much guarantee that that's the limited edition item that I got. All right, next thing. Could either be the print or the signature. Oh, no, it, it says on it, this is the extra item that I got. Okay, so it wasn't that. Okay. I got... It's just an extra item. It's a print, and it's... I mean, it's well done. I'm not a huge fan, but it is well done. So this is an art print for E.T. And it looks good. It actually looks really good. You can see the detail on that. E.T. touching Elliot's forehead. And they're kind of shaped him into the woods with the moon in there, with them, you know, in the, he's in the basket on the bike. It's well done. I'm just not a huge fan of that, but it's well done. It's cool. That's awesome. So then I guess I got another art print. I did get another art print, and this is actually a freaking awesome art print. I got to be honest. I love this art print. I have number 438 out of 4,000. Certificate of Authenticity and all that. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Goonies again. This is great. Chunk and Sloth together. And if you notice, Chunk's holding a baby ruse. It's what brought those two together in the first place. It's very cartoonish, but that's cool. Um, I mean, they're, they're a cartoonish bunch, basically. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to put that up. That's cool. Signature... Oh, okay. No, here it is. That This was not my one-up. When it's marked extra item, it means this is the extra item that we were... Um, that's supposed to be making up for the April box being late. So this very well could have been the limited edition thing I got. All right, so autograph. I know some people who would really like this. I'm not a fan, so I'm going to give this to a friend of mine. But it is a signed picture of Austin St. John the Red Power Ranger I know some people who will actually go nuts for this so 
there's been a lot of uh, fanfare recently around Power Rangers stuff. Not just because of the movie, but it's just been having a resurgence in popularity anyway. So this is actually a really good idea for a signature. It's not my, it's not my bag, but like I said, I know someone. I know a few people who would love to have that, so I'll just give it to them, which is, that works. Oh, they got new uh, artwork on the inside here of the box. As you can see, there you go. Weird. There you go. 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 I love that DeLorean in there. Who doesn't love a DeLorean? Okay, so the booklet. Um, unlike uh, heroes and villains, unlikely heroes. There you go. That's the front of it. So we had the Sean fan art pin. Um, the artist was Nick Kakoza. And yeah, so my, my the one that I got the blood splattered one. There was a regular one, which is what most people got. Then there was a, the blood splattered one, which was only a thousand made. And then there was an even more rare version, which was Sean as a zombie. And there were only 250 of those. So I got the one that was a thousand, not 250, but cool nonetheless. Honestly, no matter what pin you got out of that, it's all good. Those are good pins. Okay, then there is the Sloth Loves Chunk fan art collection patch. Um, this was done, that doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say who did that one. It just says fan art. And then there was the Sloth Loves Chunk fan art, uh, art print. And there was a limited edition of that one. I did not get the limited edition of that one. So the limited edition out of that one is only 500, and it was the same picture, except Sloth has pirate hat on. That's a really small variation, and the color's just a tad bit different. That's kind of, <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of a stupid way to do it, to do that variant. But who did the art? Tim Odland. I think it's worth pointing out that Tim Odland did that. This is a good job. It's nice. The variant on it, limited edition, isn't that, in my opinion, it does not warrant being called limited edition. It's whatever. It's such a minor change. I hate when I hate when that's the limited edition. Which you could say the same thing, honestly, with the blood splatter on the Sean pin, but I do think it changes that enough to be limited edition. All right, then we have... They're talking about the Bambox signing that they had with Austin St. John, the original Red Power Ranger. That's fine. That's cool. Um, like I said, it's not for me, but it's cool for a lot of people, I bet. So, yeah, and they just have a picture of him like doing the signing. That's cool. I like that they do that. Um, then the prop replica, the Nacho Libre mask. Um, yeah, it's just Nacho Libre mask. Okay, I don't really care that much about that one. Then the hardcover journal with Batman notes. Oh, they're act are there notes in there? With Batman notes. Embroiled on a potentially deadly mission, Batman drops a journal in which he has been jotting down notes on the case. That's where you come in. This real journal con journal contains several pages of notes and sketches created by Batman before giving way to blank ruled pages on which you can jot your own notes. It's actually not a bad concept. See, well, actually, now I have to open it. <laughs> now I feel like I have to open it so I can actually like show you guys a little bit. I'll do that. I can still give it away. It's fine. No one, no one has to know that it was ever wrapped. No one will know. I'll show you guys a few of these pages. It feels nice, like rubber. Oh, see, yeah, like that's a, yeah, see. Some of the pages already filled out. Let's see if there's any. Oh, see, that's like the one that they showed. The Two Face building. Anything else cool? Nice. I mean, yeah. And then the rest you can. Whoa. You can write it. Oh yeah. And then there's like a marker. 
Susan Carew. Okay, that makes it cooler. Um, still not a for me type thing, but I can give it to someone once again, so that's good. Uh, and then they have their little uh, teaser for July, which is Animal Influence. That seems like a weird, I don't know, that seems like a really weird concept. So it's a Heroes and, Vi Heroes and Villains one, so I don't know, I guess they're doing a series of these Heroes and Villains ones. So this is Hero Heroes and Villains Animal Influence. So I don't know if that really tips you off. Okay. All right, and then they're going to do a giveaway for a Hugh Jackman signed photo. That's cool. High, very high profile name. Uh, win this Hugh Jackman signed 11 by 14 Wolverine photo to enter. Post a picture of you wearing your Nacho Libre mask and post it to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter using hashtag WinBambox. And then they will randomly select a winner. That's a good signed item right there. It's a good signed item. Very well known. Iconic. So, very good. Anyway, uh, good box for what it was supposed to be. Um, unlikely heroes. Batman's not an unlikely hero, really. He's established. Um, Power, Red Power Ranger, not unlikely hero. This is the extra item. Sloth and Chunk, unlikely heroes. Nacho Libre, I guess unlikely hero, but a terrible movie. And Shaun of the Dead, Shaun and Ed, yes, unlikely heroes. So, mm, theme's a little loose, but I don't really care that much. But for people who do care, the theme's a little loose. But anyway, uh, overall, pretty good. Pretty happy that I got the uh, additional item, the blood splattered. Very nice. That's going up on my cork board. I have a cork board where I keep all my uh, pins. So, anyway, this one's gone kind of long, probably because we had some extra items and everything. But. Thank you everyone for checking this out. Thank you Bambox for doing a solid job pretty much every month. Um, and I look forward to what the Animal Influence one in July will be like. I don't know. That that seems... I have no clue what to expect for that, for that. So here's hoping it's a good one. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out and keep it brutal.